Watson, nurse practitioner, coming to you today to discuss the flu. Disclaimer, this is not medical advice, recommendations, or a diagnosis. This does not take the place of a well child check or sick visit. If you have any questions, please see your healthcare provider. We finally have a flu season this year, so I just want to give you a few reminders um, on some things that you can do and that you can expect. So in our community right now, we're seeing flu A. Um, most of the symptoms are like a, a sore throat, um, scratchy throat, kind of a stuffy nose, um, and body aches, feeling icky. Some have had a fever, some have not, and very few have had stomach issues with it. Um, so those are kind of the symptoms we're seeing, and we have, like I said, flu A versus flu B strand um, going on right now. Some of the things that you can do at home to help this, um, you can support your body with good whole foods, wholesome uh Vitamin C, whole food vitamin C. Um, take your magnesium if you have it. You can soak an Epsom salt fast. That's a form of getting magnesium and supporting your immune system. Um, if the sun is out, go outside, get some vitamin D, and um, that will also help support your immune system. Move your body um, is, a, is a good way to get the blood flowing and to make sure you stay hydrated as well, okay? So those are some things, easy things that you can do at home. Um, Tamiflu is always available if you're within the 72 hours of uh, symptoms um, and you go see your healthcare provider. They can provide you with that if that's the course of treatment you wish to take. Um, but mostly moving your body, getting outside in the sun, staying hydrated, doing your detox fast. Those are the, the big things that I, um, or what we like to do in my household when we're feeling under the weather of any sorts. I do wish you and your family a healthy week. I wish that, or I hope that nobody gets it in your family. And if so, I hope you know how to, how to combat it at home.